Hello, hello, Mana here, and welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Picking up here in this cave, and yeah, <laughs> don't really know what else to say, so we're just going to jump straight into things. I hope you are doing well. Uh, we did level up at the end of the last one, so we should probably take care of that first. And then, yeah, we'll just continue exploring this upper level here, and depending on our resources at the end, we'll head back down and finish up down there. And we also have the wargs. I think, uh, I think that was everything, right? Yeah, which I think we'll be able to manage. Uh, the only main concern I think at the moment is Amiri has two of these, which... Uh, hmm. Well, they concerned me more, wow. I think, until I looked at her thing. Right? Because it was only... Yeah. I think it's only knocking off one, is it? Uh... This is minus one. This is plus zero. I'm not actually sure. Actually, yeah, I don't I don't know how much this is doing, actually. I might have misread that last time. Um. Oh. Is that minus five? Oh. Wait, no. That's not right either. Because that's, yeah, base value 40, modified value 16. But then... Ability damage minus five. Is that that or? I'm honestly not sure. I mean, I guess it would have to be the minus five. Ability damage minus five. It's not really clear to me what that means. Well, it says damage. Hmm. Oh, is it the character's ability score? Ability damage. Yeah, okay, so minus five is actually pretty significant then, isn't it? But unfortunately, I don't think we can get rid of it. Um, because we didn't have any potions, and I don't think we have any spells for it. Um, well, you did have something, didn't you? Was it, uh... Well, I don't know how it worked, so <laughs> maybe not. Or oh, did you? I feel like you might have. Divine favor. Less. No, I'm not sure now. All right. Well, I guess we'll just see how it goes. Like, yeah. I mean, I guess that's all we can do. If we can't uh, fix it immediately. Anyway, for now, let's uh, let's do these level ups. Which I think we'll just stick with, like, for this level again. We'll just stick with the recommended ones for these first couple, I think. Uh, so, throw Barbarian. Uh, that's all for that page, right? Yes. No ability points to spend. I don't know, are these only every few levels, or are these not? Yeah, I'm not sure about those. Um, as for skill points... Uh, do we want to just go... Hmm... So... I can't remember which ones we went last time. Oh no, it must have been just those, right. I was looking, yeah, no, yeah, right. I didn't worry about persuasion. Because we, yeah. Yeah, alright, I think we'll just go with them again then. That's fine. Good. Um. Oh, okay. We can choose a new feat for her. Cool. A lot of not recommended ones. Only one that's recommended. Choose one type of weapon. You can also choose unarmed strike as a, your weapon for the purpose of this feat. Ah, right. Okay. And what is this? Uh, I see. Well, I don't know what's good for her. I don't even know what type of weapon she has right now. I just know it's a big ass sword. Um, can we actually see her? Not really. Kind of awkward. Well, what else is there? We could always do that. I mean, it's recommended, but it doesn't mean we have to do it, I guess. Well, obviously. Um, 
What else we got going on here? Power attack. Persuasive iron will. You get a plus two bonus on all will saving throws. Your physical might is intimidating to others. Benefit. Add your strength mod to persuasion. Oh, okay. Not useful for her, but interesting. Your quick reflexes aid to react rapidly to danger. You get a plus four bonus on initiative checks. That does sound useful. Mm, extra rage. You can rage for six additional rounds per day. Okay, interesting. The Barbarian unlocks a new ability to use while raising. She gains one additional rage power. She must meet all prerequisites. Eh. Dodge. Deft hand, deceitful. Combat reflexes. You may make additional number of attacks of opportunity per round equal to your dexterity bonus. With this feat, you may also make attacks of opportunity while flat-footed. That sounds kind of nice. But she's always up close. So she's more likely to actually run into like attacks of opportunity. And I think dexterity is one of her main ones. Mm, no, it's those. Those, yeah. Hmm. Also got back to back. Your ally's eyes are your own and yours are his. While you are flanked and adjacent to an ally with feet, you receive a plus two circumstance bonus to AC. Hmm. There's so many, like, it's so hard to judge what's good. I mean, a lot of them sound useful. I do like the sound of this, though. I mean, dexterity is not her, like, main recommended one, but... It is their highest stat after those. But I don't know if maybe there's something that would benefit her strength more. I guess weapon focus is actually... I mean, it does sound good. It's just the problem is I don't know what type of weapon she even uses. Is it a bastard sword? <laughs> uh, great sword it might be. And the other problem is I don't know if that's the best weapon for her. Like Riaz or whatever weapon she has right now. I thought maybe it's best to do something else first. Endurance. Harsh conditions or long exertions do not tire you. You gain a plus two bonus on athletic checks and a plus four bonus on fortitude saves against fatigue and exhaustion. Eh. Doesn't sound that great. <laughs> Power attack. So I strike. Whenever you want an ally who has this deal, oh, and an ally. Yeah. Stealthy, throw anything. Hmm. I mean, can make the assumption that whatever sword she has, is it a great sword? I guess I can't, I have to exit out of this to actually check, it's kind of annoying. I, I don't know what a bastard sword is, that's why I thought maybe, because that sounds like a, a big sword. <laughs> Uh, but I assume it's probably a great sword, if not. Well, we've only chosen those, it doesn't matter. Right, we'll have to just exit out of it. Uh, yes. What you want? What is your sword type, Amiri? Is it a great sword? Oh, it is a bastard sword, I was right. Okay. Well, I'm just going to assume that you like bastard swords. And we'll go with that. I don't know if that's a specific one or is there just the one bus sword option? Do that. Uh, good. So is it just bastard sword? There's not like an oversized bastard sword option, is there? Assume that's just a type. Uh, okay. I assume that that is all good. Let's hope that's worth it. Danger sense. All good. Okay. Let's try and make this a little faster for Harem. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see if Cleric's fine for you again. Have some coffee. Hmm, that's good. And... Oh, you only get two points. Oh, okay. Well... Why do you use your perception high? Is there something else that would be better for you? Hmm. 
What about knowledge world? Skill represents carriage knowledge about people, systems that make civilization run, and historical events that made societies what they are today. The carriage knowledge skill allows you to create or detect forgeries, decipher writing, identify monsters, and recall air. Eh. Cool, but I don't think actually what we want. Um, skill represents carriage acuity, which enables you to focus fine deeds, see coming, and tell when people are lying or otherwise behaving suspiciously. Hey, look at that's like something like perception here, like. There are, like, I guess, feats and things that connect with it, maybe, but then other, like, just at its service level, it sounds like one of them things that's really only useful to have one character high-skilled at it. I don't, I don't know if that's actually true, like, that's just how it sounds to me. Hmm. Did I invest? I, mu I must have. I mean, did he already have one? Is that why I did that? Well, they obviously... Did I? I don't remember now. I'm just I'm just not sure why. Like by default, would did they have one or I just thought like by default the the investment would have been into things with the green tick, but I probably just went with the highest stats or something, didn't I? Uh you know what? Let's just keep it simple <laughs> for now, it's fine. Um because we do have that option back at uh, Oleg's trading post where it seemingly you can actually do resets, so don't need to get too uh, crazy about it, I figure. Spell focus. Choose a school of magic. Any spells you cast at that school are more difficult to resist. Add a plus one to the difficulty class for all saving throws against spells from the school of magic you select. You can gain this feat multiple times. Uh, it's effectively on stack. Each time you take the feat, it applies to a new school of magic. Oh, that's pretty cool. The problem is that I'm not familiar enough with you to choose one. Uh, I feel like Condrason Enchantment, is that the ones? I'm honestly not sure. Yeah, weapon focus. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back again to double check his stuff. Should be able to see, like, the inventory from there, or the other pages. Uh, that was not what I meant to press. The entrails near. So yeah, use a mace. That's right. Um, spell book. Oh yeah, you're all, all over the place, and I still don't understand how this stuff actually works, which makes it a bit hard to choose. Yeah, you got abjuration, divination, enchantment, conjuration, necromancy. But I mean, most of those you can't even use, or possibly can use, I, I really don't understand how it works. <laughs> it's like, you can move these around, why? What do they do? Are they different? What is a domain slot? <laughs> hmm. This spell or ability can be used in automatic mode. Is that what domain slots are for? Now, actually, you know what, like, I want to try that, so, we save. Patience. And then spellbook. What what happens if I actually use memorize? Okay, so that puts it there. Forget. Okay, but what if I So can you memorize a spell twice? Is that what that means? So is that all this is? Like there's nothing more to that. They've just been memorized twice by default. Okay. Rest to restore spells. I assume that's... Oh, are these not, like, working then, or...? Because that, that's, like, kind of faded looking, but it wasn't before. Does that mean, like... When you memorize a new spell, it's got no uses? Is that what... Is that what uh, we're seeing there? <sighs> Yeah, so that's got zero. So I guess if we rest, that will be... Okay. Uh, what was the... Is it F8? So is that all that is? Just simple, straightforward? He has a crap ton of spells, but he can only use three at once? Because that's, that's very straightforward. Uh, kind of unfortunate, though, because I could have set things up well, before we rested. Sorry. Was lost in thought. Okay. So maybe no point setting them now, but 
If that if that's okay. That's very simple. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um Hmm. So if we want to choose a school of magic, I guess we want to go with something that's most helpful for now. It seems like enchantment maybe. Uh, fills enemies fear and doubt. That sounds good. Blast gives us a morale bonus. Haze of dreams. You fill an enemy's head with waking dreams. A reminder of pleasure, delights, and terrors to be found in the dream world. While in this strange state, the target moves at half its normal speed. Okay. Unbreakable heart. Uh, that's divination. Oh, I really don't know. I mean... Maybe we'll just go enchantment. Yeah, because I think I've got Amanar forever, but I'm not really going to, like, figure out what's best. So... Yeah. I, I think it's better to probably wing it slightly, roughly go with the recommendations, and then you can always rebuild the characters later with that reset option once I actually have some more knowledge about things. That's probably the way to go. Uh, it was enchantment, right? Well, let's hope so. <laughs> that works. Okay, there we go. Uh, it was enchantment, right? Yeah. Yeah, why not? So can we memorize that? Uh... Okay, you can. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know what other one would even want to put on. Maybe, uh, what, what would be good? Because I might as well set it now. Later. And I guess so if you have more than one, you get more uses, I assume. Hmm. Inflict like wounds would give a heal, cause fear, always good. The affected creature becomes frightened. If the subject succeeds at a will save, it is shaken for one round. Creature with six or more HD are immune to this effect. Uh, well, that one does sound useful. All enemies in a 30 foot burst. Oh, that's uh, that's cool. Maybe we'll memorize that for now. I don't know. Let me know if you have any suggestions, I guess. Be appreciated. All right, Lindsay, you're up. Uh, stick with the bard. So I want to be able to use you for buffing, which hasn't gone so well so far. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, you get five points, aren't you fancy? Okay. Uh, probably just stick with the same ones again. Yeah, I think that's probably the way to go, because the fact that you can do resets, yeah, that, that, that really gives us options for later, once we've learned a bit more about things. Oh, lingering performance. The effects of your bardic performance carry on even after you have stopped performing. The bonuses and penalties from your bardic performance continue for two rounds after you cease performing. Any other requirements such as range or specific conditions must still be met for the effect to continue. If you oh, okay, that sounds yeah, that that just sounds useful. Hell yeah. Let's go with that. Uh it was just one, right? You can't okay. I don't know why she got five of those things before, which was kind of crazy. Uh, right, what have we got? Um, so... Oh no, they're grayed out, okay. So can we choose them again? What have we got? Uh, anything buff-wise? The target creature gains a... Uh, the target creature gains a plus four morale bonus on saving throws against mind-affecting effect, uh, mind affecting effects that rely on negative emotions. Or that would force them to harm an ally. If the target is already under such an effect when receiving the spell, the effect is suppressed for the duration of this spell. It does not affect uh, mind affecting effects based on positive emotions. Okay. So. Okay, so, okay that sounds kind of useful. So if we've had, if someone in our party has one of those effects on, we can use this to suppress it, basically. That, that sounds like it could be quite useful. Very case, like, very specific case, like, usage, but... Yeah, I think we might go with that. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Let's go with that. 
Hopefully that's good. Okay. Uh, Jathol. We have a build for her, so it's a bit simpler. And we are going... Sorcerer. We are clicking next. <laughs> uh, as for these, yeah. I'm not really sure what to go with these. Uh, what did we do with last time? Uh, I, uh, I know one was this. But was it Persuasion? I feel like it was... Um... I really don't remember what uh, I went with with this. I feel like Perception might have been one. Ah, I, I, hmm. I'm, I'm gonna just really quickly check that. Ah, right, that was, yeah, I, I was confused because I, I remembered them, but like, I forgot that I'd put two into this, which is what it was. But, uh, you know, let's, uh, let's do both of them. And maybe Arcana. Um... Yeah. Athletics. This skill represents a character's physical ability in such things as leaping, scaling walls, and swimming. Yeah, a lot of these sound like said. I don't know how much these actually impact combat. A lot of them sound like things that mostly impact outside combat, but then there are like feats and stuff that directly interact with these, so. Yeah. Um. Maybe we'll go Perception. I don't know. I feel like that, that, like, this one sounds like a good one for, like, because she's a sorcerer. Alright, I'm gonna go with that. I don't know. I'll be stuck here for other arming and ahhing. Like, I'm, I'm terrible with that kind of thing. <laughs> so. I think that'll be fine. Uh, and then, I believe, yeah, point blank. That was, a uh, you get a plus one. Bonus on attack and damage rolls with ranged weapons at ranges up to 30 feet. That was the one that's recommended here. And doesn't look like there's any other notes for that. But I think that is all good. Alright. Trusting you, build and Jathol. <laughs> now, leave us for last. Um. I'm still sort of considering if I want to split up into other classes and stuff. I'll probably still do mages for one more, but... Yeah, I'm curious, like, if there would be a, a good way to go about that. Hmm. We'll do for mages for one more, though. And as for these... Um... What did we... I honestly don't actually remember what I had put into it previously. Probably do another persuasion. And hmm. So I I did have like a I had a very rough build for my character, but I wasn't planning on like following it completely. It was more like to get an idea of it. Um But it's still helpful to know. Because I, I said I want to sort of make it tanky and that. And I didn't really understand how to do that. That was the main reason. Might go with mobility. Uh, Arcana. I'll go with mobility for this one. I think that's fine. Alright, very good. And... That we can choose two? Are these... Oh, no, right. Okay, they're different things. Okay. Um. Okay. I don't really know which of those to go. Hmm. Well... Oops. 
Sorry, clicking off things. <laughs> um, anyway, with arcane accuracy, it sounds like a good one. Mainly because, I mean, yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. As for a feat, though. Hmm. Let's have a look see. Fair few options in there. Uh, let me let me go up and down a little, so I'm not I'm an iron on camera for too long. Okay, I don't. I'm sure I'm just like being having a dumb moment here, right? But like, this like I, I don't get it. Armor proficiency, medium armor, but then prerequisites doesn't have the following proficiencies. Arm proficiency, medium armor. But how, how can I? <laughs> they're the same, right? How can I need armor proficiency, medium armor to be able to get that? That doesn't make sense, right? But but I can I can get it, can't I? You know what? Let, let's go back. And do a quick save since we got everyone else sorted. So I can't use medium armor right now. Is that that's that's correct, right? Uh, do we have any medium armor around? Apparently we don't. There we go. There's I. I'm just curious. Like, so if I get the proficiency, will I be able to wear this? Or am I misunderstanding something? Because it's... Yeah, I don't really get that. Uh, it was those, right? I think. Yeah. Fine. Um, and then so... Oops. Well, I mean... Because it allows me to get it, but... It doesn't have the following proficiencies. Armor, proficiency, media... I, I, don't, I don't get that at all. <laughs> Because it makes it sound like you need to have medium arm efficiency to be able to get it. Unless that's just something else. I mean, well, they are the same, but I don't know if that's like you have to be proficient in it to get this, like, upgraded like, or something. I'm not... Well, either way, we can try it, so we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, as for a spell... Hmm... Oh, we're going to be getting another spell. What do we What do we want here? I did like the sound of magic missile because I think um, Alagovich, if you're watching, was this the one you you just mentioned it? I don't remember what the context was that it can't miss. Was that the thing? A missile of magical energy darts forth from your fingertip and strikes its target, dealing one d four plus one points of force damage. Hmm, I don't know if it's the best one, but I, I remember. That did sound kind of good. Um, we have shield. Wait, we have no. That's what we have. We have that, don't we? Here. Yeah. Hmm. Enlarge person. What does that do? The spell causes instant growth of a human or a creature, doubling its height and multiplying its weight by eight. This increases the changes the creature's size carry to the next larger one. The target gains a plus two size bonus to strength, a minus two penalty to dexterity to a minimum of one, and a minus one penalty on attack rolls and AC due to its increased size. But, okay. Interesting. So, gains strength, loses dexterity. Also a penalty on attack rolls, but then also just melee and range used do more damage. That's an interesting one. But I can see like using that on a Miri and then her absolutely just slapping the shit out of someone with a sword. A corrosive touch. Your successful melee touch attack deals 1d4 points of acid damage per cast level. I do like the sound of that too. <laughs> True Strike. You gain a temporary intuitive insight into the immediate future during your next attack. Your next single attack roll, if it is made for the end of the next round, gains a plus 20 insight bonus. Additionally, you are not affected by the mischance that applies to attackers trying to... Probably something, but... 
Vanish. The touch creature becomes invisible for a short time. If a check is required, an invisible creature has a plus 21 bonus on its stealth checks. Interesting. I wouldn't mind getting the corrosive touch. I know it's the best thing, but... Like, is, is, can that... It doesn't mention it, but because like, it's acid damage, like a poisony type thing, right? But can that, like, apply an effect, or is it just a one-off attack? You know what, let's just try out the enlarged person, why not? <laughs> then it applies for all of us, we can always reset these and rebuild if... Because, I mean, is it, I don't know how many you can do for free, or what it ends up costing, but... You know. It'll be fine. Hopefully. Okay, there we go, that took a, that took a while. But, we are all set there. Uh, unfortunately, I can't help you too much, Amiri, but... Hopefully you'll be okay. Um... So what do we need to do up here right now? I guess we're just going to find... Uh... We might need to find two shows in the caves. Yeah, I think we're just finding him, right? Oh, we have to... Uh, we'll just go exploring and figure it out as we go. That works, right? Oop. Oh, we got them. I see. Uh, we do not have that on, but that's actually fine for these, I think. Who will prevail? Hopefully. Does it matter? We'll see how it goes anyway. <laughs> Probably should have done a quick save, but as long as we all survive, that's what matters. Good. We go quick save after that. And good. Yeah, I don't know how much, uh, how big this air is up compared to below. Adults. Or how many, uh, creepy crawlies we're gonna have to deal with, but we shall see. Anyone else around here? Oh, hello. You're guarding trash? I poke hollow old sycamore and queen say bad. Me punish now. The awful What's pile that? of garbage seemed to be, seemed to be the mite sorting center. Oh, okay. Well, there's some non-garbage here. I'll take that. Anything to say about this garbage, priest? Perhaps? I know you, greedy. Wow. They are always friendly with their greetings. Oops. Everybody, continuing on. Uh, yeah, I guess it's probably best to just keep the, um... turn based off you and then turn it on as needed, me. right? So I think for things like these, it is just best to, uh, yeah. Uh, that is unfortunate. Oh, that's... That's... Oh, is it gone? Oh. Ah. That's at 29 seconds. Or does it go away if you get out of combat? Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to... S we'll just have to rest after this place. I think that's really the only thing. Why am I getting so many... Oh, okay. Oh, guess we can go down there. I assume we would have... I don't know, I guess we'll check. I assume it's somewhere we would have been, right? Lindsay, you coming along? I don't know, I mean, it could go to like a little area, I guess, but I assume it's probably just one of the ones we went past. Hopefully. So otherwise we might be walking into a group of enemies. That would be unfortunate. Oh, it is actually, uh... Huh. Well, we could poke our nodes, I suppose. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> uh, it's probably not a thing to say in a dark cave, but... It's fine. Okay. Hmm. Alright, we'll, we'll leave it there for now. <laughs> I'd prefer to, yeah, so I'd wait to the end. Because I don't know if we're going to have, like, a hard fight wherever Tartuccio is or something, so... We don't want to have too many debuffs on us. And I would like to be able to sort of finish everything in this area without resting, ideally. I think we do have plenty of time, but... I still think that, you know... There's no point resting if you can get away with not resting, sort of thing, you know? Is my thinking. Um... I'm going to go down this way. That's... Okay, it's dark. Let's go this way. <laughs> yeah, hopefully these won't cause too much trouble. I mean, in the end, we can always just walk outside and rest if we want to, can't we? Uh, which, wait. 
Okay, it does. I was like, wait, do these actually go away by resting? But yes, they do. Okay. Because, I mean, resting is only eight hours. Like, you know. It's, it's not actually a huge deal, I don't think. Uh, Kobo go tunnel and fall his own trap. Ha 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 ha. Well, good for you guys. Hello. I will take that. Our glory hero and his riding spire fall whole and die. Poor spider, pity. Indeed, indeed. My flea joke better you. Okay. <laughs> I'll trust you on that. Ooh. There's something unusual. Cobalt still catapult, not know what do. Shoot himself in wall. Oh, are they telling jokes to each other? <laughs> joke bad. Hit joker. Joke bad. Hit joke. Hey, how you know where Cobalt ambush? Ask Cobalt. You ambush, yes? <laughs> okay, so the mites have their own uh, little Focus comedy club going on. It's kind of cool. And I'm sorry, guys, but I am in fact stealing your potatoes. Because potatoes are delicious. Gonna make some mashed taters. Mm mm. Mashed taters and gravy. I'll take some stuff. Stuff and things. Oh, we got a potion there too. Good stuff. Alright. So far, it's friendly enough down here. Oh, we had a dead end. Oh, that's cool. Very purple. Uh. Can we go around here, or is that... There's a dead end, right? Oh, okay. Back this way we go, then. Wherever we can stand. I don't think... Yeah, we have to get... Alright, oh, yeah, we needed the key to go into the uh, Sycamore Hall, right? I think we... Did we get one of them, but we needed the other, or... Oh, my memory's terrible. I know we have to clear this out, and then things will happen, so that's fine. As long as they have the general direction of things to the way to go, then it'll be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. We can fight ya. As long as there's nothing big, that's fine. Can you make an epic pose? Go for it, guys. Smash them. Do your thing. We'll hope for the best. Uh. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was curious how much XP we needed to the next level, which is quite a bit. Uh, good. Saving throw on Venom is good. I can see my destination. What do we got going on up here? The More dust, of you, of course. You will go. Some loot. Good. Oh, loot is always nice. You see that? Oh, and secret loot is always nice. What the hell was that? Looks like an egg. <laughs> oh, guys, just jade. We just jade. Okay, like it doesn't look like this will be huge unless it sort of spans out there. Oh. I guess, wait, yeah, Tartuccio's in there, isn't he, or... Ah, it probably says in here what we're actually doing, right? Uh, there's that. Oh, so that's a companion quest. I didn't realize that. Huh. Okay. Um... The two trio was seen entering the sacred hall of the old sycamore. To enter it, we should acquire the might relic which was seized by the kobolds. Ah, that was right, yeah. There are many right. roads to success. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Where's that? Oh, silver embroidered purse? Sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> looks like they've locked up a, a kobold here. Ally, come join us. Greeting, ally. We train aim. Best get reward. You play too, yes? Uh... <laughs> You can't use a living creature as a target, even an enemy. Let this kobold go. You may capture or kill your enemies, but do not torment them. Finish him off. No more torture. A contest? I'm in. I'm always more interested in... It's always more interesting with a live target. Uh, I will not take part... I will not take part in this. Farewell. I don't really care. Do what, do what you guys are doing. I'm not getting involved. Uh, giant centipede. They do seem to like their pets. Oh, there's a couple of dead kobolds there. Is that for the centipede to eat, or...? Well, we'll leave you guys to it. I know you. Greeting. Indeed. I can see my destination. Uh, can we lower this? Oh, okay. No animation. It's fine. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a battle going on here. Oh, we have a great sword. Cool. Although probably not useful to anyone. I mean, maybe Amiri, but we've sort of, yeah, 
We sort of set on the path of the bastard sword now. Okay, is there any other ways to go here or is that oh there's something that looks like it. Can we Alright, don't don't actually do that because that was Damn it. <laughs> go back. Yeah, because it looks like there's somewhere to open there, but I guess we'll see. Do we wanna go do we have to go back that way maybe? I need to concentrate. I'm not seeing a... Uh... What's the deal here? Uh... Okay. Maybe it'd be easier just to go outside then come back to here, around that way. That's probably the way to go, right? I mean, we may as well. Okay, here we are. I will go. Thought I might as well just skip along on that. That's uh, all good. Oh wait, did I? <laughs> oh my god, I never checked about the armor thing. Ah, oh, wow. I got caught up on the spell afterwards and completely forgot about that. Ah, uh, my bad. But yes, it does in fact look like we can use medium armor now, so... All good, but hey... <laughs> Jethol, I will return your armor. Sorry about that. Okay. We'll watch out for some medium armor that I can use for myself then. We found right. the what we got going on here? I don't remember, but we talked to you guys, didn't we? Or Truth hurts. Why I bite that bone? <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Uh, we did turn away from here, but I don't remember why. These wooden structures are a few centuries old, some even older. So we still the ravages of time. Oh, right, that guy was leading us off. That's, I couldn't remember, like, if we talked, someone then reloaded or... Yeah. Fantastic memory, as always. <laughs> Alright. What's that? Oh my, that could be ouchy. Uh... Someone... Could probably disable that. Lindsay, if you could, please. Please and thank you. Applause, please. Good job. How uh, curious. Grotus awaits oops. us. Lindsay, you're up. Yeah, that guy is presumably... Oh, there he is. Yeah, so we just it's take his... Not my lucky day. Oh. Okay. Didn't seem to do much damage, so I'd call that your lucky day. I can see my destination. My search was not in... Uh, I guess we can creep past them, like... You just gotta do it awkwardly, because they won't... Like, it seems like if you detect them, they should automatically walk past them if you click over Anything here, but else? I guess it's not that simple, is it? I go watch, you go chief. Ah, oh. sure, buddy. Sure. Okay. We find the chief, then. I don't know if we're going to have to fight or break. Now we'll break. Or we're going to be able to actually, like, negotiate or... What is this? Oh. Our journey into the mysterious dungeon brought us by twists and turns to an old mine. A huge hatch in the floor blocked our way. Its panels were half open and squeaked angry, threatening to plunge careless adventurers into the abyss below. It's just, it stretched far from wall to wall, making it impossible to simply walk around this deadly trap. Break. All break bad. We turned around and saw a kobold sitting on the ground beside a broken lever. The kobold was holding his head in his hands, but sensing us, he jumped up. Stop. You go. You fall. All go. All fall. So sorrow. Sorrow. He grew woeful and lamented he, he skittered down one of the passages. Then we surged forward, paying no heed to the danger surrounding us. Oh, that sounds like a smart move. <laughs> Decided to not push our luck and retreated. Well, that wouldn't work, though, would it? Like, there's no alternative passage, is there? Tried to jam the doors to deactivate the trap. Using equal parts wisdom and dexterity, we jammed the ominous hatch. Now we could proceed without fear. Thus the darkness of Yawning Abyss was roundly defeated. I wonder if we would have just dropped down below somewhere and took damage or something. Uh, Giant spider, okay. Ooh, shiny. What might you be, shiny stuff? Okay, we've kept on most of this area then. There are many rooms. What a surprise. Okay, we can probably avoid that. Uh, well, we'll try. What else we got going on? Spiders. I failed. 
I'm sorry. Can you try again? Applause, please. Good. Good. Uh, we should be fine to just not turn base these, right? How many are we dealing with? And then our leader charged forwards. Hey, wait for me. I don't uh, surprises. Lindsay. You see that? You do that. Am I gonna regret that? Applause, please don't hurt please. Lindsay too much. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. not good so far. Mmm, Lindsay's got yeah. damage now. Please. Oh shit. Drink up. Okay, why does it not seem to work in battle? Is there something I'm missing about that? Because you didn't drink it. I don't I don't get that. Yes. Mm. I'm still and Lindsay was called for Drink up. Oh my god, are we seriously down to three of those? That's not cool. Hmm. Damn. I really did regret not buying more of them, eh? Although it also speaks to how many, like... Because, I mean, we spend a fair bit. So... Yeah. Alright. Uh, what do we got for loot around here? Coin. The trolleys were left here by human miners long ago. The cobalt summer managed to repair them. Anything is possible. I suppose I should be using things like this. I, I want to read this again, by the way. First level bard can use his performance to inspire courage in his allies, bolstering them against fear and improving their combat abilities. To be affected, an ally must be able to perceive the bard's performance. An affected ally receives a plus one morale bonus on saving throws against charred fears, and a plus one commonest bonus on attack and weapon damage rolls. Okay, so this is the part that I was confused about. Like, we ended up getting that down to zero before the rest. And I checked back on the video, and it, it happened in a really short span. But I thought that this meant we could use it 15 times. But then, because it went down so fast, I thought, oh, is it actually work for 15 rounds or something? But there's nothing that indicates that. So I don't know if it's that or if it's like we actually got some sort of status effect that impacted it or something or... Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to be mindful of it and see how it goes. Anyway, moving on for now. Can we walk up here? Oh, we can. Focus okay. What do you got for me, box? Cool. Uh, we have a giant spider. We have a couple of giant spiders. What so I guess we you? could use that. And then just go in there. You just do your thing. I'm, I'm watching this. Oh yeah, it just went down. So is that seriously like 15 rounds is all it works for? That's terrible. <laughs> do I have to turn it off or does it go off automatically? Because I understand like a bard you would use primarily as like a buffer, but you can, I don't know. Are you meant to just rest a shitload in this game? Am I just bad at it? I, I don't know. Just let it Because try. that little fight, like, to use, like, I used three out of 15 to kill those couple of spiders. So, I, I don't know. Is it just that you have to be scarce with buffing? Like, that, that's the thing I'm a little bit well, stuck on so far, is it feels like the amount you can use abilities Adventures is so scarce, them. unless you were, like, literally fighting a few fights in here, going out and resting, and then repeating that over and over and over, but that seems kind of silly. Or is this just because it's so early game and just don't have a lot of options How at the curious. moment? Hmm. I do not know. I mean, we're managing, obviously. I just feel like I'm not getting much better at things so far, you know? But, I, I don't know. We'll worry as it happens. Uh, that's not good. Let's, uh... You're but a ah, crapper. Well, it might be fine. I don't know if the webs matter. If, uh, is there just movement, or are we fucked from this? Can you guys attack? Sort of. What is happening? Oh, he's trying to move. This won't kill me. I'm I'm taking a reload. 
Yeah, I'm taking a reload on that one. I think I'm just going to be pretty casual about the reloads. Um, I was very mixed on it, but I'm sort of feeling like the need to loosen up. And the main reason for that is just because this is a mammoth game. And it's, it's, it's going to be a huge journey. And I think the journey is going to be the fun part more than anything. So I, I don't need to get too bogged down by things like that, you know. I don't know. Let, let me know if you have thoughts on it, but... I think that's sort of how I'm leaning at the moment. Um, as for the, I feel like, yeah, we sort of need to. I don't know. I, I'm t I'm getting tempted to rest. To be honest, I don't want to. But with three of them having permanent damage and it's out. like getting uh, lesser on the. Adventures. Uh, we have we don't have a ton of these left. Is what I'm failing to say. It might be smart to rest, but we also have still some things to you. use, so maybe we should try to use up those a bit first. Um, so we'll do as much as we can, but yeah, we may actually want to do a rest before we leave. I think that may end up being a smart move. Depending on what fights are left, obviously. We'll see how we go. You guys can handle that. Easy enough, I believe. Yes, good. Very good. Um, so yes. you've got a couple of heals, I think, still. don't you? Or someone... Yeah, cure light wounds. Yes. Do that. Yes. Good stuff. One for yourself. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. So that's... Yeah, those four spells all connect to that three-a-day thing. But that's why I'm not sure about the rest thing. Like, are you expected to just rest all the damn time? Hmm. I don't know, I just have so many questions that I want cool. answers to. Uh, but, is that like, because it's such a mammoth of the game, I'm probably getting a bit caught up in it, because it's like... You know, I've, I've played a blip on the radar, uh, a blip on the radar worth of this game type of thing so far, so... You know, I, I probably just need to be a bit more patient with the learning curve. I think that's... That would be a fair assessment. Uh, what are we pausing for, Giant Spider? I wrote it like I saw it. Uh. How curious. Well. Anything is possible. Yeah. Okay. You just go that away, Lindsay. Lindsay get on the track. Scared. How many? You should be. We all right here. Uh. I do believe I asked you to go deal with that trap. I don't know. Maybe bless. Yeah. Maybe shoot actually now. You deserved it. Go for the shoot. Okay, we're all good there. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's that's the blessing. My God, don't mind me. Just is that gonna stop drop. now? I don't want to waste it. Okay. Um. What troubles you? Yeah, may as well use the last one of them on doing that heal. Yes. That's fine. Where's this going? Oh, we have a couple of kobolds here. I want to connect that area up, but it's not a big deal. Probably uh, avoid being too pedantic about those type of things too in this. Like, I really have to recognize how big this game is, and if I if I get too weighed down with little things, it's it's just going to be, you know, it's going to be a ridiculously absurd amount of time to finish this game, even though like. The long journey is part of the fun. I don't want to... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't want to weigh it down with my crap. <laughs> the best way to put it. Uh, can you two get unstuck soon, please? I much appreciate it. <laughs> I learn words. Boldness. Strength. Salada. Saluta... Salu... What is that? Was that salutations? Tooth hurts. Why I bite bone? I don't know, buddy. I really don't. Gold scale I want. Wish. How you doing, Lindsay? Just a tad stuck. All right. Um. All oh right. Yeah, I want to do a normal save. Cause when I get when I get um quick save heavy, I really should make sure to do one of them. God, I I feel like I'm just ugh, I can't speak today. Maybe getting stuck on my words. Uh, what do we got going on here? This looks like probably where the 
what's some call it's going to be the queen is that the queen chief one or the other all right spiders I think you can manage that just fine gonna... I think it's fine if they're all down a little we can use his uh that one Good. Where, where are you, Lindsay? Hey, like My god, are you mind. still stuck? Well, whenever you're ready to catch up to us. <laughs> and got some loot. You uh, coming along, it's Lindsay? Possible. Good stuff. What do we got going on over here? Oop, delicious loot. Very good. Yeah, I kind of... I want to kill everything because of, like... XP and stuff, but I don't know if it's the right way to play this game. Like, I don't think I've ever played a game as big as this. There are many like, I've seen multiple playthroughs on YouTube. Not, I haven't watched them. Um, but out of curiosity, sort of checking the length of them. And there, there was some at like uh, 150 to 200 hours, which is like... Oof. Kind of breaks your brain to think about. Especially because it could take even longer for me. Uh... Oh, okay. I guess that's probably where... Okay. Wait, where does that go to? Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's finish checking here then. I just sort of assumed this would be where we may as well explore. And then I guess we'll try and trick them into the... I don't know. Trick them into thinking we have the password or lost it. So I don't know whatever's going to happen there. My god, that is bright. What are you guys all up to here? Man, there's some really good loot around here. Yeah. The kobolds have turned this skull of a dragon-like creature into an object of worship. Push, push, you slugs. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Can we not talk to you? What are they doing? Mm, no idea. Okay. You guys, uh, good luck with that. Kobolds seem to be good at curing hides and decorating their caves with them. And... Paintings made with soot. It seems they're supposed to portray dragons, but most just looks like cows with wings. Well, they're trying. They're trying. I wish, um, like the, uh, borders to these were sort of a bit more outlined, so we can actually tell if there's more to explore or not. Not not a big deal or anything, just, yeah, I'd prefer, like, a hard white line or something, maybe, for the definitive borders. I think that would be better. But, let's see what we can manage here. Also, I've let it get very dark, haven't I? I apologize. Uh, where are we at? Light. Light me up, if you would, please, Harem. Cheers, buddy. Sorry about that. I completely forgot. Hello. Hello. Okay, I guess we just... <laughs> I guess we don't need a password. Well, that was simple, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. Any of you guys chatty? No? Oh, is that the... No, Cryer? Are you someone of significance? Greetings, friends. Oh, Chief Soot Scale. Oh. You're right there. Okay. Kobold Cryer. Eatings. Ends. Uh. Oh, he was greetings. Okay. Chief Soot Scale. I ask help. My shaman Tazog go passage under Old Sycamore. Fight might. Search relic. I afraid he can't do. Friend find shaman? Kobold attack then. Where might Tatuk be now? Don't know. He leave. If find relic, enter sacred hall. Might not go this hall. We have might relic. Chief says proudly. I need the... I need the relic to enter the hall if Tartuk is already there. How is the war with the mites progressing? We fight mites. Mites break bridge. We break wall. Now all quiet. Okay. Uh, there's someone in your dungeon I wish to discuss. There is? Tartuk, bring them. This dumbhead shouts silly things. Call Tartuk Tatuccio. Can't talk good. <laughs> uh, Tis unworthy of a ruler to stoop to insulting his prisoners. And we merely tried to open your eyes, chief. We? Who's we? Uh, what need have you of this dumbhead chief? They're just taking up space in your dungeon. 
Release them, Chief. How does holding a dumbhead prisoner serve you? Serves them right. A cardboard prison is the proper place for Tertuccio servants. Uh, release them, Chief. Uh, what need have you of this dumbhead, Chief? They're taking up space in your dungeon. Agree. Useless creature. Release. Yeah. Well, that went well. Uh, I need the relic to enter the hall if Tartuk is already there. The Chief thinks for a while. Scratching the back of his head with a clawed finger. Fine, I give might relic. You touch it door and enter. Then return relic. Yeah, that's that sounds fair to me. We'll speak later. Farewell. I can do that for you. Someone recently released from Cobalt Prison attracts your attention. That was a weird thing to say. I mean, hmm. I do not imagine I'll remember these days as among my glo- oh. I do not imagine I'll remember these days as among my more glorious. Tell me more about the story of Tartuccio and the Kobolds and getting locked in their prison. Uh, Valeri. Okay, it's Valeri. Because it wasn't... Is it... Wait, ba Valeri? Valerie? Wait, is it Valerie? Hmm. I like Valeri. I'm going to go with Valeri until I hear a correction. Valeri, I'd be happy to see you among my companions. Tell me more about the story of Tartuccio and the Kobolds and getting locked in their prison. It is a tale of deceit and disgrace. Tartuccio deceived everyone, spying for Patax and searching for an unknown relic. He used those gullible creatures and betrayed someone who might ask questions and expose him, presenting them as a hunting trophy for the Cobalt Chief. Well, I don't... well... I feel... well, we want a full party, so... I don't think she's the best judge of character, but she would be useful. Valeri, I will be happy to see you among my companions. My sword is at your disposal. May this bring me greater honor than serving that despicable lion, Tatuccio. It is time to continue my journey. Well, there we go. There's Full party. Why not? That works for me. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about you yet, but... Well, we'll see how we go with that. Uh, class, eh? Well, for the first one, I think we'll just go fight, alright? That's fine. Because uh, fight, fighters sound simple, which which I like. Um, oh, interesting. You've got one in religion, despite it not being a recommended one. I think athletics has got to be a, a good one for her. And mobility. Hmm. Yeah, probably not mobility. Law, religion... Perception, persuasion. Oh, I have no idea what to choose for her other than that. Like, most of these just don't really sound useful. I mean, maybe mobility? Because your character's mobility skill enables you to move near opponents without provoking text or opportunity to keep your balance. Like, that, those actually are directly relevant to fights. So, I'm going to go with that. Oh, we have another point. Uh, I guess you're getting two for mobility. Why not? Um, weapon focus, eh? I don't know what type of weapon you have. I mean, she's probably just got... Because she's sword and shield, isn't she? Uh, Alright, got to go back. <laughs> Really wish you could access the inventory I from there. I am your shield. She is a, yeah, she's a sword and sh Oh, bastard shield. Uh, bastard sword. Okay. My god, that's a big, that is huge. Tower shield, eh? Uh, I guess we could just go with bastard sword then. I don't, I don't know what that even means. Because, like, she has a bastard sword, but hers is a big one. I don't know if it'd be better to go with a different type, or... But again, I guess we always have that option to reset, right? So... Probably no reason to get caught up on it. Hmm. Alright. Go with that. One of those, two of those. Um, because you got Bastard Sword, which... No, I don't, I don't know what a bastard sword even is, but... What else is there? In terms of swords? So there's... 
short sword and long sword and bastard sword hmm um where are armor focus or anything related to defense shield wall what does that do Whenever you're wielding a shield, and also adjacent to an ally wielding a shield... Ah, me. Yeah. Shield focus? Increase the AC bonus granted by any shield you're using by one. Well, that's a thing. Hmm. That could be good. Combat mobility? You get a plus four dodge bonus to armor class against attacks of opportunity caused when you move out or within a threatened area. A condition that makes you lose your dexterity bonus to armor class also makes you lose dodge bonus. That actually sounds kind of good. Hmm. Coordinated defense. You may make... A number of additional attacks of opportunity per round equal to your dexterity bonus. With this feat, you may also make attacks of opportunity while flying. Oh, right, that. What is her... So, same with... Similar to Amiri with them being the recommended. Oh, shit. Oh, I clicked on that. I was like, wait, why did that let me go? Uh... I mean, that's a very straightforward one, and she always has a shield. I just thought maybe that's good, because I don't really know about the weapon thing, but... Screw it. I'm just gonna go with that. That's the sword she has. That's the sword to run with. Let me know if I'm doing wrong there, in any fashion. Uh, like I said, we, we can always reset things later, so... I think that's probably the... the way to take it, you know? Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Oh, she's got... Ah, okay. Well, I'm still going to mix them up for that, but yeah, for, for at least these first levels, we'll, we'll do that, so that's fine. And then... Alright, we'll do those again. Wait, what? Oh. Okay, I, I literally just read that as three right then. I'm apparently blind. Okay, don't mind me. That makes things simpler. Do you have a... Oh, you can get another feat. Cool. Well. Maybe we'll go with the shield focus then. Unless something else sounds good. Lightning reflexes. You get a plus two bonus on all reflex saving throws. I, I like the sound of improved initiative. Is this like... Hmm... combat reflexes I do also like the sound of that because hmm you may make a number of additional texture when you break around your deck because I mean the only thing that bothers me is that it's like based on the dexterity bonus which isn't one of her recommended things but it's still pretty high it just sounds good because like she's another one who'll be up close alertness you get a plus two me armor focus you're familiar with specific time well she would have to be a heavy army user, right? Can we go out without... Does that going to kill both of the level ups? I'm listening. Not sure. Do you use heavy armor? You do. Because she's basically a tank, right? Yeah. I might do that then. It's like sort of straightforward. She seems like it's going to be the armor she sticks with. Why not? I think that's fine. Yeah. So she's got 40 health now. So she's absolutely tank material. Wow. Um, what is... Uh, what was I looking at? Tower shield specialist. Eldritch scion. Barbarian. Oh, okay. I didn't know what she... Cause she so she's a fighter, but she's a tower shield specialist. Okay. And lawful neutral, eh? Not sure how you fit in with the rest of us chaotic people. Most of us are, anyway. So we'll, I guess we'll see how that goes. Valiant defender, a reliable comrade in battle.
proud Valyria rejected her destiny as a paladin of Shellin, instead leaving the Order behind to find her own way in life. Her loyalty to our cause is only matched by her divine beauty. True, she can be a touch arrogant at times, but I always feel safe when she's around. Like she's a rock I can cling to. Okay. Um, formation. So... How do we want to format this? Maybe like... Have sort of them right at the front. Me sort of in the middle at the front. Maybe... They're still pretty, yeah. Maybe like that. And then I've... Something like that? That's a formation. Sure. Something like that. Yeah, we can work with that. And let's get a save down. Good. Okay. Now, what loot do we have here? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I guess we can go into the hole now, which is nice. Oh, aren't you fancy looking? What are you guys gathering about up here? Any loot to be had? Yes, there is. Something or other. Yeah, you really gotta walk around close to stuff, don't you? Very easy to miss things. And I think there was some, yeah, loot here. Very nice cage they have here. How curious. The size of this room shelving suggests that it once served uh, for a lot of... As a larder for human miners who abandoned this place long ago. I have no idea what a larder is. I, I assume it's some word. I, larder. Yeah, I've definitely never heard of that word before. I assume it means something like temporary home, maybe? Oh, something? Uh, yeah, we should be good to just like walk to here, right? Is that not going to happen? Oh, wait, right, because there was... Yeah. Do we want to go try and bust through here, maybe? We'll probably do that. Walk down here. Because it was only... Well, I don't know. Can we actually open it up from this side? Otherwise, we can just go here. That's fine. We'll see. I think we may as well open it up if we can. There's only a couple of spiders there. Um, how are we doing? So they're actually in pretty good shape. And we're not really in terrible shape other than these. Not that they, uh, aren't significant, but... Still. It's not too bad. I am curious. I don't know, like, how many of these guys are actually going to be permanent party members for us. I don't, I don't really know. It seems like a good thing having more tanks. But, we'll see how it shakes out. Uh, yeah, if you could take care of that, that'd be lovely. To victory. Yeah, Lindsay, still take care of that if you can. Uh, okay, we have a few. Um, can you actually still click on that? Or me, I mean. Someone? No? Okay. <laughs> I don't really know why that... Does, it, does combat just cancel out stuff, or what? Hmm. Well, either way, they're getting deaded, so I guess that's fine. Uh. Oh? What is that? Yeah, do these, like, fade over time? Or I guess it, it probably takes quite a while, so. I can see. So I can deal with it. Alright, let's save. Lindsay, go for it. Probably another one of these, I assume, but. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stuck right at the edge there. Okay, there's another little area up there, I guess. You gonna manage that? Applause, Good. Please. We can check these while they're doing stuff. Uh. Oh. I guess we just rammed the cart through. <laughs> that works. Oh, is that just a little pocket? Yeah, okay. Well, when you guys are ready... We can actually get out of here. Um. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna be okay. Like th these are not great, but I actually think we'll be able to manage finishing up this place without a rest. So that won't be too bad. Uh, I don't know about the wargs. 
they were they were actually quite tough. We do have a full party now, which is nice. I hadn't thought about Valeria in a bit. I wasn't sure what would happen with her, but I guess that's good. I just gotta wait on these guys. Okay, this is actually crazy. It's been like five minutes and Amiri is still stuck. I clicked up here for them to walk. I ended up like actually going and reheating my coffee. <laughs> I've just sat back down again. Valeria made it. Amiri is still stuck. Look at this. Look at this. Seriously. Look at that. <laughs> crazy. Uh, I love you, Amiri, but you do not handle webs very well. <laughs> Oh, I cannot believe that. I, mean, I, got, I went and hit my coffee, ate a bit of banana bread, slowly walked back down here. <laughs> uh, that was good banana bread too. Mm -mm. Homemade, delicious. Not by me, but still, it was homemade. <laughs> it was very good. Uh, oh, Mary. How you doing, girl? Good. Ventures call to them. Uh, listening. Please. <laughs> uh, I need poor Mary. Concentrate. She'll she'll get it. Oh, she got stuck. Unstuck. I mean. Here I am. There we go. See. <laughs> Here. Yes, I see. I'm up for an adventure. All right. Well, looks like we're going to be able to go in there finally, which is nice. And some Mary gets here. Is that you, Mary? Somewhere? Uh, can't believe that. I am yours to command. Hmm. Just thinking about, like, I don't know which characters are definitely got. Like, I think. Does anyone obviously myself. My I definitely want a Mary. Like, she's sticking in the party no matter what. J Thal, too. Unsure about these guys. I mean, I did have in my notes that you definitely want a cleric, but I'm not fully sure why yet. Everywhere I go. I mean spell diversity I suppose everything. is probably the big one. Then people say it was better before I arrived. You'd sort of cater these to specific situations potentially, which you know, there's a lot of potential for that. Anyway, for now, let us go in here. And see how old Tatuchi or Tatuk is doing and probably kill the shit out of him. Because that should be quite satisfying. Uh, okay. Probably should have healed up for this. <laughs> oh, my impromptu rival. You are late, as always. A little advice, never join any races. Speed is just not for you. The outline of an, the outline of an unknown artifact disappears in the portal, and Tatuchio turns to you. He still looks like a kobold, but seems to think it's useless to keep pretending. What is this with this... What is with this disguise, Tatuchi? Do you mean the performance I put on for the kobolds? Wasn't this an excellent idea? The poor folks did everything I wanted, even started a brawl with their beloved neighbor mites. I did not even need to make any effort to complete my mission. That is why I will always be a step ahead of you and the like. Yeah, pretty sure while you've been doing this, I gained two new people, so... And this is the person I nearly made the hero of my book? Ew. It was right. Without a doubt, vice does have its advantages. However, in the end, it always, you hear me? Always gets what it rightfully deserves. I know you are a protecting and spy. But you don't know my mission and won't ever know because I will never tell you, even for the pleasure of seeing your discouraged face. What were you looking for here? Why did you need all this? Don't take me for an idiot. I am not going to tell you anything. Even despite the fact that I am going to kill you. By the way, did you know I am going to kill you? I don't think we need to fight. Let's resolve this peacefully. <laughs> yeah, no. Enough. We'll settle our dispute. Running one we'll fight to settle our dispute. Okay, I didn't realize it was like... Okay. Uh... Yeah, this is probably why I should have healed and things, but... Oh, right, yeah. We, we probably want turn base for this, right? Although... Do we? I don't know. Probably. Somewhat. Hmm. 
We'll see. Can we get a... Okay, there's going to be a tax of opportunity, but if we can go straight to Tartuccio... Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that was totally worth it. <laughs> Although, yeah, I think we may actually be doing a reload here. I'm taking way too much damage. Yeah, I'm going to do a reload. I, I, I just stepped into that in a stupid way. Yeah. Should have, like, made sure we are healed up and things first. Other than, yeah. That, that was just, yeah. Not very well prepared. Um... So let's break this. Okay. Do that. Um... Wow. Yeah, let's give you one of those. Of me, one. Good. Can we move up a little? Like, maybe, do we want to, like... No, like, do we want to maybe use Bless? Um... I, I, don't, I don't know how well it works doing beforehand. Let, let's try and do both of them. The now we'll walk. Let's, let's see how that goes. I, I assume they'll hold, right, into battle? Honestly, I'm curious if we should just, like, let it roll. Uh... Not doing oh, turn based, I mean. You are, do you mean the uh, this let's is just the without a doubt. But skip you don't through know, those. Don't take me for an idiot. To victory. Can we okay, you can't do that. Alright, we're in turn based mode. Hmm. Should we go straight to Tatuchu? I think that I don't know, is there gonna be a tax of opportunity? Because it doesn't show any lines for it, but then I don't quite know how that works for certain. Eh, let's give it a shot. Why not? <laughs> Seems like a good idea. Um, wait, that's down to six? Wasn't it at ten like a second ago? Hmm. Okay. Uh, shoot it too hard, choo choo. Go for it. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. I don't know, I, I always feel like maybe when there's so many like these, it can be better to use the non turn base, but... I don't know, let's turn it off for a second and see what happens. Oh, Jathel, you've got way too many on you, don't you? Yeah, that's not gonna play out well. Yeah. Okay. Probably going to be a reload on this one again. <laughs> hmm. But that's already put us in a bad position. Yeah, I'm going to reload on that. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm just trying to figure out combat still a bit. The other thing I like, you know, I, I don't know, there's definitely, there's, there's advantages of turn based in a lot of ways, but then in other ways, oh shit, no, 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 no. Damn it. Didn't get the buff. Let's load. Because <laughs> otherwise, yeah, it's just a waste. Come on. Oh, my yeah, yeah. Rival. You are late. Oh, there we go. Um, because like, if you're doing real time, like you can be attacking when they're attacking. Whereas, if you start turn based, then you have like a whole bunch of them getting the attacks first, it seems to hold to their advantage. Anything is possible. And yeah, so this went down from 10 to 6, just walking that tiny little bit. Without a doubt. Which seems. Us. Yeah, like it just. I just don't know how you're meant to take advantage of this, other than literally a couple of fights bet between rests, which doesn't seem very useful. Alright, bring it on, Tartucci. Yeah, I think the best way to handle this fight, um, oh, my impromptu rival. but spreading you out might late, be one of them, as always. Because that that, little advice, that fire never spell was not good. Do you mean the per and this is the per without a doubt. But you don't know. Don't um, take me for a combat is a I don't know. Like, we could like, hmm. All right. Well, that didn't go very well. We had two attacks ourselves the first time. Hmm. So these kobolds, how much health do they have? 
Oh, very little. So should we just focus on trying to take them down, maybe? Yeah, she's... Lindsay's terrible at attacking, so... Just try and kill one of them, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Uh... Do you... Hmm... We still have... We got a few of these things. Can we use one of them as a... Is that a... Does that count as like a... Yeah, I guess we can't use one of them. Okay. Well, maybe like an AOE might be the smart move here. Hmm. Patuccio, yeah, if he uses that, that attack again, that's that's pretty bad. Oof, that's a lot of attacks of opportunity. But I still feel like we should go at Tatuccio. Oh, damn, that's... Yeah, she's good at that, okay. She missed a lot there. Okay, me getting hit is not good. Yeah, fuck. That's a little bit annoying. There's nothing to do about that. Oh, wow, that killed... a lot of them, okay. Interesting. Uh... I guess do that. Wait, did that bring me back to life? What? I have one now. I thought I was down. Was I just knocked down? Wait, what? That that healed kobolds? What? That heals enemies? I didn't know that. Uh, I don't like that. Huh. Okay. That's disappointing. I'm guessing we can't use one of them, can we? Yeah. Um. Miri. What's happening? Why can't I see. Are you hurt? What's what's going on? Why can't I see? I click something. What what am I missing? Uh. Can I not? Why why can't I see like the bar here? Because of one of them? I don't understand what's going on. Tear them apart! What 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 <laughs> I I don't know what to do. She can't seem to do anything. Uh Okay. Do I just have to skip a turn? Alright. No? Can't do that either. Wait, now it's What the hell was that? Was I clicked into something? I have I have no idea what the hell that was, okay. Um, I guess rage and attack. Wait, what? Oh, that was a what's gonna call it? Okay, they have more health. Bring it. Yeah, that that was really strange. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Uh, ray of frost. Can we move? Yeah, you'll have to risk that, this but... Body holds yeah. no more. It's fine. I want to get more damage on Tatuccio. That was not much, but sure. I feel like this is just going terribly. That's me down again. 
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not going well. I can't believe that heal, like, impacted all the enemies. That's so... I don't know, I just didn't know. <laughs> that sucks. Well, what do you got? Can we not see their health? No? I guess not. Okay. Uh, just go with Tattoo Chio. It's something. I don't know if they'll like stop once we do that or... Hmm. Yeah, I, d I don't see this going well. Oh crap, I should have healed on Amiri a bit. Ah. Um... If we move slightly... If we move around here... That should open up a charge spot, right? Okay, we can still move a little more. Let now here. Good. Ooh, don't want that. Uh, bless... Charge... Um... Hmm. Alright, just attack that. Hint. Damn it. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Hmm. It's fine. Amiri, can you get a charge from there? Ooh, it's gonna be risky, but you can. Oh, are you serious? That was the last thing we needed. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, hmm. Well, I, I don't know. Just attack one of them, I guess. <laughs> Not really sure what else to do. Oh wait, what? What? Oh, I thought I could use a potion after that. Crap. Lindsay surviving somewhat. Good. Uh, can you shoot from there? Yeah, that didn't go very well. Move away a little, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not going well at all. This is just yeah. Uh, a good example of me really not knowing what to do with combat, I'm... I think. <coughs> All right. Hopefully we can manage somewhat. Do not falter. Damn it. That's unfortunate. Uh... Oh shit, I didn't realize there was still some archers there. Uh, That's not good. Oh shit. That's not what we needed. <laughs> Can you do that? No, you can't. Your life oh, ebbs damn it. low. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, just try. Yeah, sounds about right. Wait, do we actually have to hit through all the mirror images first? Ah, that's frustrating. Hmm. I feel like I just need to learn so much more about the combat because I'm really not enjoying it right now. In a sense, like, don't be wrong, I'm enjoying this game and stuff, but I, I feel like my lack of knowledge makes it really hard to enjoy combat because it feels like I'm just sort of muddling through without really knowing what is best to use or what to do. Uh, let's try May that. Why? Things like this don't help now? either. Why can I not use it? Another way to use this spell? Uh, you can, but I don't know why you can't do it like this. May I suggest another way to use this spell? Protect Fuck. me, please. I didn't mean to press that. Alright, just eat that since you're gonna be dead either way. Yeah, I, I don't see any way we can win this right now, unfortunately. <laughs> but things like that is what I find very awkward. It's like, this and how do you, like, even if you want to look it up online, it's like, how do you. 
why can I not throw a potion? <laughs> like, it, it seems a bit too generic, you know, to actually get any sort of real answer. Potion. Uh. Still, uh, so I just can't hit you, I guess, this, because of the mirror image? Yeah. That's really unfortunate. Stay behind me. Mm, I, I just have to skip turn, I guess. Are you fucking serious? Really? This mirror image shit's bullshit. Uh, I assume the reason I can't throw that is I have to target one of them or something. But that that seems silly. Like, what? Why? <laughs> you know. Any chance you can hit Tarduchi? No. Nope. All right, move out. Hopefully avoid them. Good. So... Like, I should just be able to throw this it there. Is so, yeah, so I do have to actually target one, but I don't understand why. Seems kind of weird. Uh... Mary, drink up. Drink up. I think that's probably best to do for now. I guess it was as long as we take these out. There's at least a few of us left. We can deal with the mirror images and hopefully squeak a win through. It's getting, it's pretty rough though. So bad don't any heals, I could actually get myself back up and then brink up or something. Uh, Lindsay, you're in a terrible way. Uh, take out one of the mirror images. Even if she's hit, like, yeah, may as well. Can you move away a little bit? Further? <laughs> That's not a, uh, you know what? That's fine. It's not gonna work out well, but it's fine. <laughs> Should withdraw for a time. Yeah. Not going well. Sorry, I'm being so pessimistic and stuff, I know. I just, I, I don't like that feeling of, like, I have no idea what I should be doing. I mean, there's only limited options, I suppose, but... Yeah, like, I, I couldn't even fathom playing this on a harder difficulty with my lack of knowledge. Uh, uh, I guess it was pointless with you here because I can't hit you right now, can I? Maybe I'll just charge at one of them. Probably more helpful for a minute anyway. Could be worse. Could be worse, somewhat, but not really. Bring one of them. And smack this down. What a waste! That's unfortunate. Take this one out if you could, please. And we'll just charge back after. <laughs> it's pretty pointless with them there anyway. Oh, we're serious? What? Now the archers are involved. They weren't doing anything before. Ah. chapter. Yeah, somewhat. Hmm. Gemma. I mean, I could just throw it off turn base and see what happens. <laughs> That's one option. Uh, Valiri. Smack him down. One. God damn it. Can you not just hit someone, please? <laughs> uh, not doing well. Not doing well. I guess if we have to reload, we have learned it's pointless to go after Tartuccio until they're dead, because... He just keeps doing the mirror image thing. So that's something. Yeah, even if... I assume even if we charge, it's not actually going to hit, is it? Well, you know what, let's use that as an opportunity to learn. Nope. Okay, mirror image. I, I don't know why they're so dumb they can't figure that out, but... I guess that's fine. Amiri oh, come on Amiri. You're better than that. Ah. Too bad. Well, at least a couple of them have lower health. That's something. Lindsay's down. Miri and Haram aren't doing well. Well, well I miss helps. Alright, let's take Do you down. Oh, seriously? Ah. Uh, that's not good, man. You 
Can you charge that? No. This spell's purpose. Yeah, that's different. fine. Just kill they this thing then. Or not. <laughs> ah. Brilliant. Mary, how are we missing so much of these little weak kobolds? Like, we should be strong enough to manage that. Apparently not. <laughs> I did want to at least finish up this fight, but not looking good. Actually, there was something in options like, can we speed up the enemy turn? Because it's it's kind of slow. I feel like there was something about that. Uh, uh, yeah, increase enemy animation speed. Let's like make that three. See what that's like. It looks weird to we'll change it, but I think that might be better. Because it is a bit slow going through that, and I care about our turns more. <laughs> I forgot I'd seen about that. Onward! Good. Uh. Yeah, you better drink up. Try and at least keep a couple of us alive. Uh, oh, you're fatigued? Well, that's not good. That's quite unfortunate. Um. Will this hit, like, literally right next to it? I feel like it should, but. Oh, we have a light wounds one. Hmm. Repent. Ah, drink up. Mary, please. Good. And you. What? Why can't you access that? Oh, I bet it's the fatigue, isn't it? Or is it because you got none there? None there. Okay. That makes sense. Good. I mean, we might be able to like clutch through, like just, but that's gonna be a real stretch, and I'm not sure how much I'll feel like it's a victory either. Stay behind me. Yeah, that's that's just disappointing. <laughs> and that didn't hurt very much. Good. Your Can you hit this guy finally? Low. Sort of, I guess. Uh. We're out of those. Uh, all right, Mary. Damn it! <laughs> oh, Mary. We're better than this, man. You're meant to be much better than this. Like four hundred times better than this. Mm. Oh, right. Let us strike as one. Please. Oh, that's so bad. A three. Like, I get the systems, but come on. These are like pissy little kobolds. Like, how are we not doing better against them? Uh, you know, charge him. Uh, yeah, not much Amiri can do right now. Why can we not charge? Is that because of fatigue? Hmm. And a miss. <laughs> Really not going well. We have two of them left in the Don't archer. I think. Kill me. If we can stay alive through that, that that'll probably be enough. Do not falter. But these tiny hits and misses really aren't helping that. Okay, the ice attacks are good. They do way less damage. Uh, oh, did you kill that guy? All right. What? I guess if we if waste. we get it down to one mirror image, that's probably a good thing. That probably helps. Bring it. Please hit. Oh, that still wasn't a great hit. Okay. Oh, there was a one. Amiri. You're better than that. I mean, she's fatigued and has these, to be fair. So, you're still the best, but I was hoping for a little more. Onward. Oh, come on. Ah. Uh, really not going well. Wait, what happened to that other mirror image? Okay. Uh, you can imbue a target with chaos as a melee touch attack. For the next round, any time the target rolls a d20, they must roll twice and take the less favorable result. Uh, does it actually do damage? I mean, it says a melee touch attack, but... I guess we'll just try it. Or we, or we won't. <laughs> Ah, that's really unfortunate because he'll probably just spawn more than things now. 
Amiri, I really, really wish I could heal you. Ah, uh, I more so wish that you wouldn't keep missing things and doing crappy hits. Won't kill me. But, hmm, what is that on him? I'm not sure. Stay Please hit. Finally. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can we retreat good. now? Okay, that's good. Repent. That's not good. Oh crap, I should have used that on Amiri. That was dumb of me. Uh, please. Please. Ah, oh, come on, Amiri. I really need ya. Stressful, man. I'm <coughs> She's literally oh, like right. on her last legs here. Uh. I'm going for a charge. Damage to him would be... Oh. oh, Tartuccio is down. Good. And I'm using this on Amiri. Can we do that? She deserves it. You've disappointed me a little bit, but you still deserve... Wait, what? Did that not work? What? Oh, wait, what? Was she too far away? Okay. <laughs> if she gets... Oh, she's gonna get killed from this pissy little sand, isn't she? Man. <laughs> oh, thank you. That was nice. Uh, you this cannot do that. I must be doing it wrong. Uh, ju just walk Let up, I guess, then. That's something. Wait, you got all that way? Oh. Do not falter. Is there anything else you can do that's helpful? Not really. Uh, go heal Amiri. Even though it's probably pointless now, I want her to survive. She, she deserves it. it. Uh, Tear them good. Apart. Well, it looks like we did, in fact, win. I mean, one more and we will have. Won't kill me! I guess, yeah, Tartuccio is dead, isn't he? Well, I guess that was satisfying. <laughs> Stay behind sort of. me! Your yeah. I guess it just doesn't... Low. Man, how much health do these little ones have? They go down. There we go. Deliver Tartuccio to Keston, dead or alive. Tell Keston of Tartuccio's fate. Don't I have to bring the body? No? Everyone up? So we won. I said, like, I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being a bum. Uh, a poop about it. But that just did not feel like a victory. <laughs> you know? It's like, I, there was no skill and it was more luck. And, yeah. Eh, still, you know, we won. That's the main thing. But, yeah. Not not what I would call a satisfying victory, that's for sure. But Tatuchi is dead, so that's always nice. Yeah, Wand of Magic Missile. Oh, that might be useful. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to be so, like, so pessimistic and stuff. I, I just, uh, I don't know. I feel like there's just um, such a learning curve, and I, I really want to get through it, but I'm, I'm sort of recognize that I'm being impatient about it because this is still, like, very much the start of the game, so I shouldn't be getting so caught up on it and just, you know, take the learning. Even if we had to do that five, five times, like, there's always something to learn from it, you know. A pedestal of some sort found by tangled tree roots. It seems that some long and narrow object rested here until recently. There's no sign of it now. Okay. Was that the artifact then, or...? Hmm. What does that sound? And they're fighting. Token of the Dryad. Interesting. Yeah, why do I hear fighting? Or where do I hear it? It sounds like it was on the other side of the wall or something. Hmm. Uh, okay. At the exit of the Sycamore Hall, you meet Badar, Queen of the Mites and Suitscale, Chief of the Kobolds. They look askance at each other, their rage barely suppressed, but they do not attack. You promise to find truth. Open it soon. You find Shaman? 
Tell the truth, Tartuk deceived everyone. It was he who stole the Sycamore Branch from the Kobolds to make war with the Mites. He attacked me and he was killed. I Now I possess both sacred branches. Chaotic Neutral. I haven't found Tartuk. He must have run away with the Sycamore Branch. Uh, I'm just going to go with the truth. Treacherous. Treason. I know, Purple Hide Trader. Keep both brands. There is no need to honor these old relics. Honor the hero who opened your eyes and changed your history. Honor me. As for your relics, I suppose my gloves will do. Interesting. Now that Tachigo has been dealt with, it's time to deal with you. Yeah, good luck with that. Lawful good. Give both branches to their owners. Now that you know the truth, you must give up this needless feud and live together in peace once more. The true aggressor here has received his just punishment. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the mites. So... I'm just going to go with the, the good one on this. And, you know, I don't feel a need to be weird about it. The chief holds a sacred branch. His eyes are full of sorrow. Much blood is shed. Not easy to forget. But we struggle. No might do evil deeds again. You friend. Welcome guest. Always. The queen shakes her head thoughtfully. Was much death. Hard to forget bad blood. But I wise queen find other way. No kill kobold no more. Ally, you brave and fair. Be our precious. Be our guest. Precious now always. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, that's sort of like... I mean, it's, it's a lawful good action, but like that's sort of the character neutral thing. I mean, just do what you want, right? <laughs> that's how I see it anyway. I mean, I have no interest in like ruling them any sort of weird way or doing anything, and I don't care. And the mites are kind of funny and, you know, so if we can make peace, that's cool. All right, well, we've got a good. Not the most satisfying victory, but a victory nonetheless. Uh, alas, Tartuccio prepared to fall in battle rather than to surrender. I wasn't going to take surrender. <laughs> Gaston Garas and the Sword Lords must learn of his feint. Oh, our dairy Mane and the insidious sword Tartuccio received a special task. Oh, that's... Wait. Yeah, this is why these li lists are weird, because... This was the first one, right? Oh, no, right. I, I always get confused by that, how it goes downwards... Even though that, and then you got the one on top. I, I, I find that weird. Okay, don't mind me. <laughs> all right. So that is that all clear, and we are in absolutely terrible shape. So I think that we're probably good for here. Um, let's pop down here for a second. Uh, how much like did we have left down here? Oh wait, what the fuck? What a sorry spectacle. The treacherous servant of a treacherous king, who in his turn is mere servant to even greater powers. He impersonates a lesser creature and dies. A good joke is a powerful weapon, and a bad one can seal the joker's fate. So be it. Rise, my unfortunate jester. Your performance is not over yet. Is Ox Yas! Are you serious? That little shit. Do I have to kill him again? Is he just going to be gone now? If he's still there, I want to turn around and kill him. But I'm guessing it's not that simple, is it? My destination. That would be far too easy. Oh, I cannot believe that. That little shit Tartuccio lives on. I assume. Although it doesn't really make sense that he could escape from here, does it? Like, there's mites and stuff right there. Hmm. Yeah, you can still hear the fighting. What's with that? Hmm. hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think we're probably done for this area. I don't think it's worth resting to do that stuff down below. Because we did cover most of it. Uh, I don't know. I don't like to miss things, as I said. But at the same time, might just have to accept some misses in this game. I mean, 
Yeah, on a small scale, obviously. I'd like to be able to always complete quests and things, but like... Exploring just a minor area to get some extra loot, which is what I assume that would be. It's not like we haven't got a quest that leads us down there or anything like that. Otherwise, I'd be a bit more inclined. Um, though it's probably going to nag at me to leave it too. <laughs> I don't know. Because uh, we still have... I mean, I assume we are done here, right? Like, I don't know if there's any... I would assume so. We do still have the war quest. Uh, yeah, kill the wargs. Which, we could give that a go, but... I don't know, it's also something I guess we could do later. I don't know, because I mean, we could always like... Because we're going to have to come back this way, right? I don't know how much time that would waste, like, because we're going to have to obviously come back here to go to the bandit place. So we could always just pop in here when we're all nice and rested and deal with that. On the other hand, we could also just rest outside here right now, finish up exploring down below, and then kill the wargs, and then go back. I can see my destination. Mm. I don't know. Let me know what you think uh, on that, actually, because I think we might wrap it up here. I've been recording for about two hours, so that's uh, that's probably enough for one. Uh, I am trying to avoid going too far over two hours, because that's sort of... When it hits the two and a half hour mark, that's when the processing time gets a bit crazy, so... I think we will leave it there. Let me know what you think on that. Like, uh, Would it be better to just stop in here on the way back, like when we're going past here, and do the rest of the stuff here? Or should just just rest because it's not a big deal finish up what we're doing then head back to old eggs and then also to be fair if we have rest now on the way back to old eggs we can probably also do the uh what do you call it the fangberry one maybe we could stop in and do that on the way back and then yeah or alternatively we'd rest at old eggs then do that then on maybe on the way to the bandit place when we do that and stuff we could stop back in here yeah, I don't know. Let, let me know if you have any thoughts on that. But uh, for now, I'm just going to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully, m m me getting through that combat wasn't too uh, wasn't too bad to watch. I feel like I was getting annoyed at it more than I should have. But, you know, well, yeah, I'm just getting caught up on things. I don't know. I, I just need to have some patience with the learning curve. I recognize that, but it's, um, you know, it's easier to recognize that in hindsight than in the moment, I think. I think it was just that, like, as I said, we actually won, but it just it just didn't feel satisfying because it didn't feel like I pulled through because of skill. It was like I pulled through because of I managed to pull through, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I don't know. As I said, it's all a learning thing. That's what I really need to take from it because it was like even if we failed and I reloaded like say 10 times, if it was that extreme, there should still be things to learn from that. And I think the more patient I am and the more I allow that to be the case the more I actually will learn the little things um yeah there's just uh th I don't know there's little things that I'm finding difficult to learn I suppose it's sort of I don't I said, I'm just getting caught up on things I shouldn't I need to be more patient but you know it's all part of it and I'm, I'm I'm committed to it now so I think that's fine uh I think it's mainly it's just important to be self-aware of it you know like it would be it'd be different if I get like annoyed at it and I just stay like annoyed afterwards like oh that was annoying it's like meh meh but no I think as long as you got the self-awareness to when you're being annoyed or necessarily being self-aware enough to know when you need patience like that's the thing that'll help me actually get to where we need to be for actually getting through the whole game type of thing so yeah that's at least what I'm trying to take from that but, uh, yeah, we have a new party member, which is nice. I uh, don't know if she'll be sticking around, but just because I... I don't know how many potential party members there are or how many awesome people there are, so... We'll see on that, but... Yeah. I don't know. Just let me know if you have any thoughts, suggestions, or anything, and all that kind of stuff. And if you made it through with me, I really do appreciate it. So, just again, thank you very much for watching. And I'll, uh, see you in the next one soon. Bye-bye.